Hi, I'm Ian Summerhalder, and this is Everything I Eat in a Day. First thing I do when I wake up, I eat two small puppies. No, I'm joking. The first thing I do when I wake up, it's kind of strange. So I have a first breakfast and a second breakfast. So we make a lot of our own stuff, right? Nick and I grow a lot of our own food. It's gonna sound unnatural, really, like I eat that much. So I usually have a broth first thing in the morning with a bunch of supplements, like vitamin stuff, and green juices with my tea that I then whip in the Nutribullet with coconut oil and cacao and salt, believe it or not. So you're getting the electrolytes, you're getting the caffeine, and you're getting the fat with the cacao. So that's like a energy. Then I train, and then I gobble like really weird things. I don't eat a lot of meat, so I substitute it with fish. So I have to eat like two giant handfuls of nuts, walnuts or cashews or pecans or Brazil nuts, and then meat. So usually it's fish and I'll alternate ocean fish, freshwater fish, usually broil or pan fry, but I cook in a lot of cast iron or ceramic coated cast iron, which I guess the jury's still out. No non-stick. It is as toxic as the day is long. I mean, on the stove, cast iron or ceramic coated cast iron, lemon, a little bit of high heat oil, like sunflower oil or something, and salt. Boom, lid, steam it. And then I eat two giant handfuls of vegetables. So whether it's root vegetables, steamed vegetables, spinach, anything. So two of those on a plate. Gobble that. Nick also makes me, we also make a lot of our own stuff. So she makes me these like amazing chia puddings with coconut milk and chia and cacao and salt. And then she'll just leave that in the refrigerator and I'll get up in the morning and I'll gobble that. In the morning, you know, most people eat tons of carbohydrates. Twice a week, I'll eat just massive huge stacks of pancakes, but it's only like twice a week. Then I'll have my coffee and then the baby didn't gets up. That's the beginning of my morning. That's from six to 8.30. Then it's feeding her. It's feeding the, the baby, then it's cooking. Then I'll finally sit and I'll have even more sort of steamed or sauteed vegetables with another cup of tea. And so we feed the baby usually fresh fruits, hash browns, cheap yogurt or coconut yogurt, stuff that's fermented and good and high protein. And then we sit there and I'll eat that too. So it sounds kind of insane, but when you eat really clean, you're eating tremendous amounts. It's hard to do that because that requires tremendous amounts of packaging and plastic, right? So most of the stuff we get is farmer's market stuff or we grow it. I, I love trying to really cut all this waste, but I live like a tornado because I, there's just so much going on that sometimes for convenience sake, I'll use it. What my wife did was do an audit of what we use and I think it's gonna become a big movement, which is farmer's market vendors are gonna start buying stuff in bulk. So you can go and get your dish soap and dishwasher soap and all that stuff. You can buy it in glass from farmer's markets. And what they do is they buy it in bulk. It's saving 65 bottles, 65 plastic bottles. So if you have a million households doing that, that's just at a million, that's 65 million bottles a month you're saving. Lunch, again, is gonna be a fish, huge amounts of vegetables, sweet potato, quinoa, big white potatoes, and some high density fats later on. Oh, I forgot, the other thing um, in the morning I do, half a lemon, lukewarm water, and a quarter of a teaspoon of pink salt, because that just goes into your adrenals and just Now, if you have a heart problem, really bad idea. If you have high blood pressure, not a good idea but I'll do that again in the afternoon. I do do a lot of coffee and tea, but I also mix it with a tablespoon of coconut oil. And if you whip it, you're binding caffeine molecules to a fat lipid. So your body burns it slower and more evenly as opposed to like straight up and straight down. And people forget, yes, sugar is the devil. One fifth of all the sugar and one fifth of all the oxygen your body intakes, your brain uses. So you have to remember to give it that. I always do what The Rock says. It's not a cheat, it's a treat meal. So a treat meal is just this like giant, massive, amazing stack of gluten-free pancakes with just fruit and maple syrup. Although I didn't realize how much energy production it takes to get maple syrup. You know, you tap this tree and then you boil this stuff. 
for hours and hours and hours and hours. I mean hours. Yes, I love maple syrup, but I use either local honey. You can also just take blueberries and just grind them and put like a little sugar or a little honey in them and all of a sudden you get this like amazing compote situation. Another great treat, dark chocolate. Loaded with antioxidants. It's got some caffeine in it, but it's just so good for you. It's ridiculous. You can also just take cacao, turmeric, honey, a little bit of salt. You can just mix it with hot water and shake it up and it's like dessert, but it's loaded with all these huge superfood sort of properties. Every dinner, we make sure we get home uh, as a family. Dinner again is super crazy healthy starches. Potatoes, sweet potatoes, yams, quinoa, gluten-free pastas, fish, vegetables, or a lot of times no, no um, animal proteins. You know, you can take one big head of lettuce cut it up, put it in a cast iron pan, water and salt, cook it down a bit, boom, olive oil, spices, whatever you want, and bam, you have this like amazing, vegan, amazing meal. You can put it over rice, quinoa, you get incredible amounts of nutrients and carbohydrates and proteins from dense, amazing vegetables. The planet's better for it, your body's better for it, your brain, your energy production, all of it. That's it, that's everything I eat in a day, which should probably be five days, and thank you.